WP Standard is a pretty cool leather goods company that you might know better as Whipping Post, which they used to go by. And back in those days, they actually also sold uh, like wax jackets and parkas and stuff, but they've since pared down their offerings to specialize completely in leather goods. So their offerings include totes, duffels, uh, the rare leather backpack, that's something you've been thinking about, um, you know, dub kits, uh, laptop sleeves, and like a bunch of other stuff. And this bag, the Vintage Messenger bag, which I've been using for a little while now, so it's broken in a bit, but it hasn't yet gotten that nice, soft uh, hand feel and patina that you'd get after like a year of use. So uh, I guess I'm sorry I'm reviewing this while it's sort of in its transition period from going from new to old and cool, um, which uh, reminds me actually, the brand really likes talking about the way leather tells a story. Here's a clip from the only video that's actually on their website. Though so much in our culture has become disposable, once in a while you encounter something in your life that transcends being a thing and becomes a companion of sorts, a fellow traveler. Today we are going to be talking about the leather, uh, the features of the bag itself, the price and the pros and cons of this very cool and very beautiful and very simple bag. So let's go with the leather. So what's funny about WP Standard is they've got a pretty solid reputation. If you visit their site, they have all these like loving reviews but they don't have any information about the leather whatsoever. Like nothing about how it's tanned or where it's from, how thick it is, how to take care of it, where it's made, nothing. All it says on the website is that it's full green. I reached out to Ryan at WP Standard and I learned a few things for you. So it's made in Mexico and the leather is five to six ounces. So it's a bit of a two millimeter stick, like two to 2.4, maybe 2.2 millimeter stick. And it is from Panamericana Tannery in Leon in Mexico. Leon, if you've watched my other videos on leather stuff on my channel, um, or even other leather bags I've done videos on, like my Saddleback video, you'll know that Leon is Mexico's leather capital. Leon is where the very famous La Farc tannery is, but Panamericana is pretty legit as well. And they make this leather, and this leather is chrome tanned with a veg finish. Once upon a time, WP Standard offered some bags that were vegetable tanned, but they changed the recipe to this because chrome tanned is more flexible and softer and retains color better than veg tanned. A lot of people like to say there are no upsides to chrome tanned, everything should be veg tanned, but those are all very real upsides to chrome tanned leather. And I guess a veg retannage, mostly with uh, mimosa from sustainable sources in Argentina, and I'm gonna mispronounce this, quebracho, que which is a very, like a, a true, very, very hard wood um, that again, I'm probably mispronouncing. Now this vegetable retannage adds a little pigment to it. And then the hide is drum dyed to give it a nice base color. And you can even see some of the wrinkles on the hide here on, uh, this, on this back panel here. It's very, very subtle, but I really like that touch. This tan color is the most popular of this vintage messenger bag, but it also comes in brown and black. And the last thing I wanna note is that this leather has a fair amount of pull up to it, meaning that it changes color when you like bend and fold it because it's imbued with like a lot of oils. But you do nonetheless wanna condition this leather now and then if you want it to last as long as humanly possible um, and to keep it like, you know, extra moist and so on. So after maybe a year or two, they recommend using Chamberlain's leather milk for rejuvenating this uh, very fine, very impressive leather. Let's talk about the design and the features, what this leather has been transformed into, right? So this bag is 18.5 inches wide and 11.5 inches high and four inches deep. That makes for roughly 14 liters of carry space and it weighs about 3.2 pounds. There's honestly not a lot to talk about with the features. It is an extremely plain bag. And of course, that's what draws a lot of guys into it. You've got this like stud closure on the front here with just two, uh, I don't know, settings, lengths. So it's not easy to stuff a whole ton of stuff in the bag because like you just won't get it closed. But it does make for a really nice minimalist look to it. Flip it open and you've got a very roomy, actually I've got some stuff in here to give it a bit of, a bit of volume. So I'm just gonna get that out. Flip it open, you get a very roomy front pocket. And on the interior of the bag, you get a nice big laptop sleeve with its own stud closure here to keep your laptop in place. This holds my 16 inch laptop without a problem, by the way. And then you've got this great keychain here, which I've got a lot of keys, um, which every bag should have. I think every bag should have a keychain in my opinion. I think it's very important. Um, anyway, besides that, as you can see, the interior is totally unlined. This is all like the flesh rough outside of the leather. So it's like a, it's a really nice uncomplicated design that lets the leather speak for itself. 
The hardware, meanwhile, is all antique brass, like the stud closure here and the buckle on the strap. Uh, you might miss some other examples of the uh, brass, like for example, um, besides these uh, these D rings that you clip the strap onto, there's also these cinches on the side of the bag here um, that you can use to make the bag like one just just one stud tighter which might seem odd on such a slim bag, but that can help to make the bag, uh, like to prevent rain from getting in. Cause as you can see, when it's open like that, there's actually this hole there that water could potentially get into. You use the cinches and it's like, it's a bit harder for water to get in there. I also really like the fact that on the straps, since we're talking about the brass and everything, on the straps, uh, these clips here swivel like this, which I really like because uh, it's, it's a touch that I always really like because it keeps the bag from tangling when it is uh, hanging from your shoulder, right? So that, that's, that's something I'm a fan of. While we're on the strap, you can also uh, lengthen and shorten it with this classic belt buckle. I will note, uh, I'm six feet tall, and as you can see in this video here, it's fairly low hanging. I'm very happy with the length, mind you, but if you're on the shorter side, uh, you might potentially find yourself having to make new holes in the belt so that you can, um, so that it's not gonna be dangling down past your hips too fast. So that's something I did, something I thought about earlier when I was like wearing this outside that I wanted to mention in this video. Lastly, we've got to look at the back of the bag here. So we've done the front and the inside. We're just gonna get the back as well. And this is where you can see WP Standards logo kind of stitched into it, which is like, it's a pretty cool, subtle touch. I like it. And it's actual like stitching into it, which I'm a fan of. And it's also this nice big rear sleeve for stuffing like a, a newspaper or a magazine in there. Oh, look at this. I have some papers in here. What is that? Oh yes, my receipt. The other thing to mention with the back here, in addition to this big rear sleeve, is that you've got this uh, sort of, I don't know if you call this a pass through or a handle. So yeah, this sort of a pass through bit on the bag, you can use it as a handle. It's not a great handle, especially if the bag's very heavy. That said, the fact that it is uh, down here on the side, while it means it hangs at a bit of an awkward angle, it does produce, uh, again, like a slightly more minimalist silhouette to it. And for a lot of guys, who are, you know, sort of worried about having like a leather bag, they're worried about looking like a purse or something. Um, having a bag be as minimalist as humanly possible is the priority. So I do think there are actually gonna be plenty of guys who don't mind the fact that there's no handle, given the fact that it makes it look more simple and minimalist, and the fact that after all, you do have a shoulder strap. So that's everything I want to say about the design of the bag uh, and the leather before that. The price is $339. And um, it's not a bad price, I think. Uh, it's not a great price. It's about what I would expect though. If it was under $300, I'd be saying, this is a really surprising price. If it was over $400, I'd be like, well, wait a minute, this is chrome sand leather and it's made in Mexico and everything, that's a bit expensive. But $339, yeah, yeah, all right, it's fine. It's not, it's not overpriced. Like, I think it's, it's, a, it's a very acceptable price for this bag. Okay, so let's wrap this up with some pros and cons of the bag. The pros, uh, the pros, the leather's great. It's nice leather, you know, it's a very, very rich color. Uh, it's got some nice veg retan into there. Uh, nice, soft, supple, but it's gonna last a long time. It's nice and thick. It's good, it's good quality leather. I said everything I've already needed to say about the leather earlier, but the leather is solid. That is the start of the bag. Um, and especially when the bag is simple as this. And indeed, while I'm saying the leather is really nice, I'll say the design is really nice and minimalist as well. Um, again, no guy wants a, a loud, complicated leather bag. If you're a guy carrying a leather bag, you want it to be as masculine and understated and simple as it can be, so that no one makes fun of you for carrying a purse. Uh, this is not a purse, and it doesn't look like a purse. It's simple and it's cool. Uh, it's also all single panels of leather wherever possible, which I think is a must for a leather bag because that keeps it simple as well. It also justifies the price because it's more expensive to use single pieces of leather than to like stitch together bits of leather uh, like from scraps, which you see on cheaper bags like a Kodiak. These Kodiak bags, you got stitching running down the middle. A is ugly and B is a sign that uh, corners have been cut, um, which you don't get here, so that's important. Other upsides to this bag, I think the price is fair. I think a laptop sleeve is good, especially with the stud closure to secure the laptop. That was a really nice extra touch. And it's also, the sleeve is just like a little bit padded. There's some kind of foam between the, uh, the, the two layers of leather used to create the laptop sleeve there. Um, there are, again, there are bags out there that don't have laptop sleeves. Cravar is one that um, was probably the biggest downside with that bag. I really, really like Cravar's bag. It doesn't have a laptop sleeve. I mean, at least the one I looked at doesn't. They do have some. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Uh, this bag also has a keychain. Uh, I like the uh, clips for the shoulder strap swivel. Um, I actually had this bag on a date the other day and uh, one of my hands was holding hers and so when the strap twisted, I would have had to let go of her hand to adjust the bag, which wouldn't have been great. But I didn't have to because it swivels. It seems like a little touch, but I like that. So yeah, there are plenty of pros for this bag. It's a good bag.
Now there are some downsides. Um, let's say you were on a date and you had this bag and just hypothetically you were wearing a suit on this date and you weren't sure if you were going back to her place to watch a movie or not. So you packed like sweatpants, you know, let's say you had sweatpants and uh, a long sleeve tee here and also like shorts and a t-shirt as well because you didn't know how hot her apartment was going to be or not. And then, you know, you bring a toiletries bag, like just in case. That's not a lot of stuff to have in this bag. Right now, I can't close this. And that's really all that's in here. Just that, like sweatpants, long sleeve tee, shorts, t-shirt, and uh, a little leather toiletries bag. Um, it doesn't really close very easily. Now, you might be saying that's an unreasonable amount of stuff to put into this day bag, but that's not even with the laptop, right? Like that was just a, uh, yeah, yeah, little change of clothes and toiletries bag. But let me give you another scenario, right? Let's say that you're a guy who happens to have a weird YouTube channel where you talk about boots all the time and you've gone to a friend's house to pick up some boots. Like I did earlier today. These are these tiny little Timberlands. Uh, this friend's foot is like size eight, I think. So they're really small. With nothing else in this bag, just a couple of pairs, just like a couple of boots. I can just get it closed, but it's not easy. It is a good bag, but if you check out the base, it is four inches across. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy roomy. Um, so, you know, basically that just means it's not, uh, it's not an overnight bag. You already know that of course. Um, and it's fine for like, you know, having, um, you know, like your laptop and maybe some lunch in there. But I'm just saying the other bags that I've reviewed, I've been able to fit a lot more into them, you know? The other thing I want to say is that there aren't a ton of pockets for this bag. Besides the laptop sleeve, like there is this laptop sleeve in here, but there are no internal pockets in this uh, bag at all. There's this front pocket here, yep. But there's, there's nothing else in here if you wanted to, yeah, I don't know, store anything within the storage compartment. Um, also, there's not really a handle on the top of the bag either. Uh, and that, honestly, that's, that's a bit annoying. You can hold this thing here, yeah, but it's not much of a handle and I'd consider that uh, a downside of this bag. So a lot of that was nitpicky and a lot of that was valid. Um, I'll let you decide as to what is a deal breaker for you. Those are the uh, pros and cons of this bag. Uh, all right, that's my review of the w WP Standard uh, Vintage Messenger Bag. I really like it, I do. I know I just had a whole bunch of cons there. I do, I try to make these videos very thorough and think of like every possible thing that someone might take issue with, uh, even if I think it might be a bit unreasonable in some cases. Like for instance, the fact that it's not completely rainproof, I don't think that's like a big deal at all because you can cinch it closed and just because you can't stand in a tropical downpour for an hour, that doesn't mean it's not a good product, right? But anyway, I mentioned the pros, I mentioned the cons. Overall, it's a good price and the leather is really nice and it's uh, nice and minimalist um, and pretty masculine. So yeah, it could have more features, but for the price, yeah. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's pretty good and it looks pretty cool. Um, so let me know in the comments below uh, what you think and um, make sure you subscribe as well because I got more of the bags and also boots, uh, raw denim and backpacks and other kinds of heritage quality goods coming up.